Day 2, Healing the Family Tree Ancestral Sins Ancestral sins can hinder one's success if his, her background is not spiritually ascertained. It is, therefore, right to say that most problems people face today are consequences of the evil committed by their ancestors. Lamentations 5 verses 7 to 8 says, Our fathers sinned and are no more, but we bear their iniquities. Servants rule over us, no one to deliver us from their hands. Child of God, under the sound of my voice today, be set free from every ancestry sins and curses holding you captive in the name of Jesus Christ. Exodus 14 verse 18, When I defeat the Egyptians and their chariots, the Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. GNT The above Bible reading reveals the potency of ancestral sins, which can hinder one's success if their background is not spiritually ascertained. It is therefore right to say that most problems people face today are consequences of the evil committed by their ancestors. Lamentations 5 verses 7 to 8 says, Our fathers sinned and are no more, but we bear their iniquities. Servants rule over us, no one to deliver us from their hands. Child of God, under the sound of my voice today, be set free from every ancestry sin and curse holding you captive in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer Guide 1. Father, Thank you for sending Jesus to give me life, forgiveness, and a place in your family. 2. Confess your sins, the sins of your parents and ancestors and ask for total forgiveness. 3. Every curse and covenant I inherited from my parents and ancestors, I renounce them today, in Jesus' name. Every curse and covenant I inherited from my parents and ancestors, I renounce them today, in Jesus' name. 4. I break and destroy all genetic traits in my lineage that are specifically attracting shame, disappointment, and every name curse, in Jesus' name. I break and destroy all genetic traits in my lineage that are specifically attracting shame, disappointment, and every name curse, in Jesus' name. 5. Lay your two hands upon your head and begin to bless yourself. Pray with Psalm 71, in you, Lord, I have taken refuge, let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me, turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge, to which I can always go, give the command to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth, I have relied on you, you brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many, you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Do not cast me away when I am old, do not forsake me when my strength is gone. For my enemies speak against me, those who wait to kill me conspire together. They say, God has forsaken him, pursue him and seize him, for no one will rescue him. Do not be far from me, my God, come quickly, God, to help me. May my accusers perish in shame, May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. As for me, I will always have hope, I will praise you more and more. My mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, of your saving acts all day long, though I know not how to relate them all. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, Sovereign Lord, I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Since my youth, God, you have taught me, and to this day I declare your marvelous deeds. Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. Your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens, you who have done great things. Who is like you, God? Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again, from the depths of the earth you will again bring me up. You will increase my honor and comfort me once more. I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God, I will sing praise to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you, 
I whom you have delivered. My tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long, for those who wanted to harm me have been put to shame and confusion. 1. A city of consecration to the Holy Spirit, dear awesome Holy Spirit, you are my greatest friend. I give myself to you, come and take your place in me just as Jesus Christ offered himself on the cross for my sins. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I implore you to fill me with your glory and power to live the exemplary life of Jesus throughout my sojourn on earth. You are the light of my soul, in you I live, move and have my being. I consecrate my soul to your innermost presence. I give myself to you and ask you in your compassion to be my strength in my weakness. It is my intention never to grieve you by unfaithfulness. I pray with all my heart to be kept safe from the smallest of sin against God the giver of life and the provider of all good gifts. I implore you, the Spirit of God the Father and the Son Jesus Christ to fill me with the grace required of me to say to you always and everywhere, you are my strength and the source of my livelihood. Cut off from you, I am nothing. I ask you to strengthen me repeatedly to defend all that is holy. I pray that I too may be holy. Inspire me with your wisdom to serve the cause of the kingdom with love. Glory and honor be to God the Father, to the Son Jesus Christ and to you, O Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. 2. Prayer against manipulation Jesus Christ, I believe and trust in you wholeheartedly. You are the Son of the Most High God and the Redeemer of the world. I ask for forgiveness of sin. Lord, have mercy on me, blot away my sins, and make me worthy of your promises. The Bible clearly states in Galatians 3 verse 14 that the blessings of Abraham are mine. In accordance with your word, Lord, I present my destiny to you. I declare your glory to radiate my destiny and perfect it. Blindfolded all the attackers of destinies and let them be consumed in their evilness. James 4 verse 7 says, Resist the devil, and he shall flee from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the devil and any man robbing of my destiny in life to depart physically and spiritually. I resist and reject any manipulation of my destiny by any medium or form. In the name of Jesus, I disengage and destroy every stronghold of destiny manipulators attached to my progress. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind and cast away the spirit of destiny attackers and manipulators released and stationed against my success this year. I submerge my destiny into the abundance of your glory and cover it with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I put on God's armor to resist the tactics of destiny manipulators against my future. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that my destiny is blessed immeasurably and abundantly. Through the power of God that is at work in me, I demand a recovery of all that I have lost in my destiny. I have recovered every progress I have ever lost to destiny manipulators in the past and even the present. I reject them and all limitations to my divine destiny. I decree and declare that I will live and operate at the divinely elevated pedestal. Therefore, every evil scheme purported and projected against my life and destiny is rendered ineffective and impotent in the name of Jesus. Lord, anoint my eyes, hands, and legs to discover and locate my divine purpose. I resist and rebuke every effort of destiny manipulators to rob, steal, and destroy my destiny. I call on the angels and saints in heaven to declare that any man, woman, or spirit shall not imprison my destiny. Through our blessed mother, I declare that my destiny is released, favored, and preserved in Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit protects my destiny. Therefore, I will not be put to shame. My destiny must shine. I triumph over any situation of the enemy against my destiny, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 3. Prayer for a new harvest, Father, as we celebrate this season of abundance and prosperity. I give you thanks for the blessings of wealth, progress, food, provision, and divine nourishment. Please grow in me a harvest for the world to emulate. Come sow a seed of prosperity within my life, Lord, so that I may become a blessing to my generation. 
Lord, you are my shepherd. You promise to guide me and provide all that I need in life. I stand on this promise to say that I refuse to lack every good harvest of blessing in my life this year. Lord, I believe that I am blessed with every spiritual blessing, prosperity, and success according to your riches in glory. Long before you laid the foundation of the world, you had me in mind, so I know that I am special. Therefore, I declare that the wait for the manifestation of my divine visitation is over, my new season of harvest is in total progress. Henceforth, I refuse every form of failure in my life. I decree that all my needs will be delivered this year. Lord Jesus, I thank you for sacrificing your life so that I will have everything I need in great abundance. Lord, I ask for a miracle of new harvest in my life. O oh God, surprise me this year with progress because I depend only on you. You are the God who answered Abraham, Hannah and David, you are my God, so answer me, O oh God, with the choicest blessings of my heart, in the name of Jesus Christ. 4. Agreement Prayer Page with Father Ebub Moanso, Dear Gracious God, I praise and thank you for this moment of agreement prayer with Father Ebub Moanso, the Spiritual Director of Holy Ghost Adoration Ministry. Lord, I welcome you again and again to this agreement prayer with your ordained priest. The Bible says in Matthew 18 verse 19, that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. I pray with Father Emmanuel Abima today that God will expose the root of my problems in the name of Jesus. We agree on victory over any yoke of bondage in my life. Through this agreement prayer with Father Ebub Muonso, I resolve every issue in my life. We stand on your word in Matthew 7 verse 7 and ask you to release your blessings, favor and financial prosperity over my life. Lord, let your fire of Holy Ghost flow to bind, rebuke and cast out every demon that has been tormenting my life. We refuse and reject to honor any satanic manipulation against my progress in the name of Jesus. We prophesy unto my life that the spirit of barrenness, poverty, failure and limitation has no place in my life. We decree by fire, going forward whatever I lay my hands shall prosper dot in your name Jesus, I receive the anointing to be the head and not the tail, a lender and not a borrower. As I pray with Father Ebub Muonso, let your grace clothe me with power to excel. We decree that the yoke of stagnation, barrenness, sickness and poverty has no power over my life. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy that my all round prosperity cannot be compromised. We release the anointing for increase and prosperity upon my life. In the name of Jesus, we command my destiny to begin to blossom with unimaginable success in all things, we stand our ground as children of God to abolish every obstacle on my path. By the auction of the Holy Spirit, we command every closed door in my life to open now. Henceforth, we reject every satanic and ancestral oppression in my life. I agree with Father Ebub Muonso to summon Angel Michael for war against every enemy of my life and my household. In the name of Jesus, the spirit of Persia must submit in obedience to our Lord Jesus Christ. By faith, I agree with Father Ebub Muonso today that all my sorrows, tears and crises have turned into total celebration, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Holy Spirit, take your place in me.